It's the place you go when you finish your show. We're your two best friends. Our names are Max and Ben. We're self-proclaimed television experts. It's reality alert. Now that was a sizzler of an episode. There we go, baby. There That's we go. It's a spicy meat to ball. A spicy meat to ball. Yes. Welcome. Happy birthday, Chelsea! First off, <laughs> yes, get that I, out of the way. I forgot to play the happy. I forgot to get the happy birthday, Chelsea music queued up on the soundboard. You reminded me. <laughs> no shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Chelsea better be careful. Micah might uh, hijack her birthday party to make it her, uh, you know, beat my boyfriend Paul party. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. It's your it's your birthday, the most important day of the year and of your life. Yeah. Well, I was a little offended because it's my birthday year right now. Right. Right. Chelsea is making it all about her. No, I texted you to make sure you were all right because I knew this was going to really fuck with me. I was like, Micah, it's not about your wedding. It's not about all this shit. It's my birthday year. And what is going on right now? It's fucked up. It's she fucked is up. fucked up. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. Run away, Kwame. Run away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's very disrespectful. Wait, wait, is who's Kwame running away from, Micah or Chelsea? Who's being disrespectful? Right both, now? both. Both. Yes. Because yes. they're both having birthdays. They're both having birthdays during my birthday year. It's very, yeah, yes. So. Keep that shit to yourself during my birthday year. <laughs> Just want to say, was I right about this whole Jackie or Marshall thing, or was I right? about uh what did you say what what's what was the specific I said that condition? i didn't think things were going well <laughs> yeah, yeah. And i don't think anybody said asking, i don't think anybody said the other that the, she was that he was doing all the good things for him but what was she doing uh that that he was doing nice things for her but what was yeah. he yeah that part definitely yeah and maybe yeah. they're not good for each other maybe they're not Maybe they're not. Doesn't look like it. I know he's good for her. I think she could use use Marshall in her life for sure. I guess. I don't know about the other way around though. Uh, certainly not. It's yikes! It's a big yikes! It's a big yikes for me. And I'm dog. loving it, baby. I'm loving, I'm loving it. it. Let's go. We're <laughs> fighting. Okay. <laughs> and needless fighting too. It feels very petty. All of it. Are you sure you don't just want to watch <laughs> Tiffany and Brett say that they have no stress about the marriage and everything? Oh is my great. god! Are every you sure? Scene, every scene. I have to tell you, Ben. Where's the I... goddamn raccoon? Good <laughs> lord. I know, I know. Every scene, I'm just like, we have got to get the. <laughs> I need a little bit of that in there. Oh, baby the raccoon. clapping raccoon, we need it in there. <laughs> oh, special little guy. So I have friends who, when they watch these shows, they'll just like fast forward through a lot of the scenes whenever yeah. they get bored. If yeah. I wasn't recapping this, I would fast forward through the Brent and Tiffany scenes at this point. There has I would. Been, there hasn't I would. been any depth to them at all. None. Yeah. Nothing. I don't think I would. I don't think I'd be able to watch it either. But hey, I don't know. We're looking through through the lens of of podcasters. A lot of people are commenting, saying, "I love Brent and Tiffany. I love them." Well, they're boring. Well, those people are boring, okay? I'm <laughs> an interesting, multifaceted person, okay? I'm not boring, Ben. <laughs> we like absolute disasters for human beings. Yes, That's just like my like. life, okay? Speaking of which, our season one fave, well, who are we kidding? Our, our overall favorite, uh, Jessica. She's having her baby shower today. I saw, oh, today's the baby shower? I saw on Instagram a photo of LC, Jessica, and Kelly from season ah. one. <laughs> and she's, you know, she's uh, she's got a big old baby bump. She's ready to, to uh, create little baby messicas. She's ready to poop it out. Easy babies. <laughs> so congratulations to our queen the queen of the Messica. queen of love is blind yes uh we thank her 
and uh, good for her. She Very can't cool. drink while she's pregnant, so that dog is getting extra wine today. <laughs> that dog is getting smashed every night. <laughs> that dog is getting that dog is going. The dog oh! is going. To, the dog is going to AA meetings. <laughs> that dog oh, is a full on sommelier right now. <laughs> the dog's palate is refined at this point. <laughs> If you give that dog two buck chuck, it'll spit it out. Yeah, yeah. The dog doesn't even sniff trees anymore when it goes out for walks. It like s- tries to pull Jessica to a wine bar to sniff the yes. wine. It sniffs. It, it like it bites the stem of the wine glass, and it'll do the thing where like it rotates the wine in the glass right. a little bit. Yeah, right. yeah. So the cute. Whole, the whole nine yards. Yeah. So cute. So sophisticated. Oh my god, your 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 dog did the sound bite for me, and that's incredible. <laughs> Good job, Bill House. <laughs> Thank you. Bill House was like, I can drink wine too, right? It's good for dogs. Yeah. Sure, buddy. Yeah. It'll put you to sleep. Oh my God, Ben, you have to do a reel of you giving your dog wine just like Jessica. People I'll will do love it. it. People will love it. There's no such thing as bad press. Give your dog wine. Come no. on. Come on. Go, give your dog wine. I'll go, I'll go viral and then go to prison. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Give your dog wine. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. It's got to be considered animal cruelty, right? Uh, no, no, not. I don't think. Is there really such thing as animal cruelty? I think there is. Yeah. No, it's like it's like language speech pathologist. It's not a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is telling me I'm not allowed to mm, give the dog wine. Fine. Um. Fine. We'll we'll never get to a thousand followers on Instagram. <laughs> 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 oh, PG90 in the chat. Dog wine o'clock. Dog wine o'clock. <laughs> yes. Sounds sounds like a dog wine o'clock over at your apartment. That dog needs some wine, you know, so it'll shut the fuck up. Hate that thing. I hate your dog. That's what um not that God I've said. It. That's what um some of our listeners have said that I hate your dog. So I'm listeners, said. friends, family, um <laughs> <laughs> I've all said I hate your dog. Everybody, everybody says Max hates my dog. <laughs> yep, that's what they say. So I'm just going off what they say. I'll Max have you all dog. know Max. Is, Max is Uncle Max of Millhouse. He loves Millhouse. He got him a little uh, Nolan Arenado jersey. Yes. Uh, so Millhouse wears that with pride. Yes. Uh, although not anymore. Ever since Nolan got traded. But yeah, we're boring our audience now. <laughs> let's talk about zach and bliss uh uh zach got her a pink ring do you think chelsea helped him pick it out probably yeah yeah i heard i heard pink and all i think is is chelsea i bet it's the ring that he was like oh i need a ring and chelsea was like well uh this is a ring that i was gonna propose to my ex with but i i didn't turn up proposing so yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go here's a ring that i have I heard it engraved in the ring. It said 50,000 followers. That's cool. <laughs> Very neat. Very neat stuff. <laughs> she was like, oh, great. I'm all uh, so for this. It turns out that he is allergic to animals, uh, in- including cats and dogs, it seems like. Is this going to be a major problem in their relationship? Is this going to be the real drama, not the fact well, that she's his second choice? I tell you what, his head is going to swell up to be the size of a of a hot air balloon. That's what's going to happen. And then steam's going to be coming out of his head. <laughs> and everybody's going to be like laughing and they think it's hilarious. And then he's going to pop, you know? And then, it's, and then Piggy's going to come in there and he's going to go, that's all, folks. Did you just call Porky Pig Piggy? <laughs> I forgot what his name was for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Porky Piggy. <laughs> Porky Piggy. <laughs> well, Ben, don't worry. One day you are going to remember uh what Piggy's name is. Don't give up my friend. You know the love will never end. You got to just hold on. Just hold yeah, I like on. Like that. Man. That's good. That's a you good just gotta one. hold on. You'll remember there are a lot of good Love Is Blind songs in this uh, episode. Oh yeah, we have them. They the Love Is Blind Orchestra is really expanding their catalog lately. Oh yeah, 
it's oh, i mean where do they beautiful. find the time to write and produce all of this music you know in like six months they did it it's insane i think a lot of ayahuasca just a lot of like really inspiration microdosing yeah. macro dosing mid You're middle right, macro prob- dosing yes this is like gonna be their sergeant peppers album basically. yeah definitely yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah very cool yeah uh, they've been working with uh, Nora Jones because she's Ravi Shankar's uh, daughter. So they've been, you know, it's kind of <laughs> like what the Beatles did. Uh, right. yeah. uh, apparently, Bliss was super sick and barely made it into the pods. Uh, so do you think that she had COVID and then they basically like, risked it and just like shoved her uh, in there? Like, what do you think happened? Yeah, that's been pretty much what it had to be. Yeah, that's what I kind of just like <laughs> read into it. I was like, what happened? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. Uh but uh you know it was fate and uh they made it in there and now they're engaged. Yay! This one clapped. <laughs> it's a beautiful crazy life, baby. It's a beautiful, crazy life. Oh, we should microdose your dog, PG90 says. Wow, Have you thought about of, that? A lot of fans of animal cruelty. <laughs> oh coming God. up. <laughs> it's really frightening. Really coming up. People, yeah. uh, it's, oh. hey, Jessica started the trend. It's a love is blind <laughs> tradition. Just people really in the chat. Should, uh, should this have your dog shoot up heroin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little Just bit, a little Ben. Bit. Just a little bit. It's microdosing. Has your cool. dog ever tried a whole bottle of Percocet? <laughs> no, dude. Just just a mini bottle of Percocet, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's disturbing. <laughs> uh Kwame and Chelsea, uh, uh, we learned that the puppy's name is um, Rocky. Rocky. You know that they're giving that dog uh, egg whites all the time. Just raw egg whites. Yolks. Or, just the yolks. Yolks getting yoked. Oh, not not egg whites. Sorry, yolks. The yeah, yolks. That, do- that dog is chasing chickens around the alleyways. and he's Oh, no, but they're up. in Seattle, so it's definitely egg whites. They're giving, you know, Chelsea's just giving it egg whites. So she's like, it's healthier. <laughs> Egg whites, <laughs> right? Or they just the chickens are in the coop in the backyard, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we get to Micah and Paul. It turns out this is uh, this seems amazing. Micah hasn't told her parents. Uh, of course, her dad's name is Paul because she wants to fuck her dad, yes. uh, Paul yeah. and Patricia, that she's engaged. And they told her, Micah's like, yeah. By the way, uh, we're engaged. And her dad's like, uh-huh. what? Uh-huh. And Micah says, uh, we're moving into Paul's creepy place eventually, but then we want to move into a complex where you guys can all move in with me. Oh. And isn't that what every fiance wants to hear that eventually I want my family to move in with us? Like, don't you want to live with your in-laws? It's not what we all want to do. I mean, yeah, we've all dreamed about it ever since we watched Full House as kids. <laughs> and we all wanted to have an Uncle Jesse and Uncle Joey in the house, you know, yeah, well... everywhere you look. <laughs> everywhere yes and if uncles weren't bad enough it's like you really want to live with like your uh you know your significant other's uncle. parents you know <laughs> yeah i like uncle paul the serial killer though that is fun yes that that, that is, fun. is fun could you imagine and, if if uh well no wait they did have a serial killer in uh full house, in full house? Was, yeah it was uncle joey wasn't it <laughs> like that guy was definitely moonlighting at night, wasn't he? Well, he ought to know. He, he ought, ought to know, know that he was a fucking serial killer. He, he did stab Linus Morissette oh, in well, the heart. He, wait till you see, like, they, they, there's an unreleased trial episode, and he's doing one of his puppets as the killer, basically confessing on the stand. It's really, yeah, funny. it's really creepy. A very special episode, unreleased. <laughs> unreleased. They only released it in Canada. It was like the yeah. abortion episode of Degrassi that we've yeah. talked about. You can only find it on Pirate Bay, but it's a yeah. sick episode. It's really sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are. We have been known as uh, Nostradami 
on it's this true. podcast we talk with our about drinking games lot. with all of this yeah we basically we everything things. that we do uh we my said, calendar we predicted that uh yes predicted the end of the world in 2012 we were correct yeah we uh, talked last episode about how paul is a serial killer with every knife everywhere uh, uh everything about him but let's listen to what paul senior had to say uh in this ep- in this episode I was getting roasted now. Welcome to the roast Oof, of Paul. Wrong, wrong. I'm sorry. That was the wrong Paul. I was going to uh, say. Was... Here's the other, the other Paul. Sorry. I get good vibes from Paul. Probably because he's Paul. I mean, I don't know him. You know, he can be a serial killer for all I know. There it is. There it is. Yep. He's a serial killer. Confirmed. Takes, takes See? Two, two people saying serial killer make him a serial killer. The dad's intuition. He's spot on. He's spot on. Knows he's a serial killer. I like when they're talking about him and they're like, we accept it because we trust Micah. And then her mom goes, uh, our big, our biggest concern is just Micah getting her heart broken. And then uh, Micah's dad goes, oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. I guess she, oh yeah. I guess that's a concern of ours. Oh yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> sure. I just, I just thought it was cool that he had the same name as me. <laughs> I was kind of caught up in that whole thing. He another Paul. Up, he can't get off of it. I've never met another Paul before. Paul? This is crazy. Paul? Paul? You see? <laughs> That's so crazy. That guy's name is Paul. Just a couple Paul. Paul's. My daughter got married sight unseen and is getting married 10 days from now. I know, but the guy's name is also Paul. And it's what, spelled literally, the same what way. Literally, what are the odds? It's spelled the same way. It's not spelled P O U L. It's P A U L. Paul, there's no other way to sound Paul. It wouldn't make any sense. What's it mean spelled? P O L L? That'd be Paul. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> So things are looking uh, pretty bleak for Jackie and Marshall right now. It's getting weird. It's getting <laughs> weird. That's one way to put it. <laughs> uh, Mar- uh, apparently the other night, Jackie told Marshall he needs to boss up. Yeah. And that he wasn't there's an- a man. There's another way of putting it that I believe Shane has put it uh, in previous seasons. But yeah. <laughs> uh, how has Shane put it? <laughs> Stop being a little bitch. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> do we have that soundbite? I know we do somewhere. <laughs> uh, well, I, I feel like in... I feel like we have a, a people, a lot of people... Um, oh, here we go. He's a little bitch, is what it is. <laughs> that was a little bitch. We have a lot of people calling each other little bitches, so... Yeah. Uh, yes. The boss-up thing. Like, if she had said that to Zach, Zach would be like, oh, from Gideon to Goliath? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he'd understand that. See, I would have been like, do you want me to be a girl boss? Is that what you want me to do? Is that? that that's yes. The yes, I'll be a girl boss. Yes, so will my empire. Yes, okay. Yes, <laughs> All right. I'll become my own CEO. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. For sure. <laughs> Buzzwords, let's go. <laughs> Gaslight. What else is in the lexicon? Lucky girl. <laughs> Lucky girl syndrome. I know things. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she said he's not a man. So he's staying at his own apartment. Now, but now he's back at the apartment and he says he doesn't know where they stand. Row, row. It's, yeah, it's it's get it's awkward vibes. Awkward. Oh, totes awk, man. Uh, totes awk. She says, uh, uh, so she's mad and she's packing because they don't have sex. Yeah, this was flashes of Damien and Giannina season one. Yes. She, is, she just drops a bomb where she's like, uh, I never told you it was the best sex I've ever had because it wasn't. Yeah. And Damien's just like, but Damien wasn't even he was just like yeah I don't really care I just like I just want to have sex I'm magic mark I don't care I'm magic mark okay (laughs) I'm for hire I'm not for for greatness yeah yeah 
Uh, Smurshal says, uh, that's not on me. She's she's like, be aggressive. And he's like, when I'm aggressive, uh, you, uh, he's like, it's not just up for me to be aggressive. And when I am aggressive, uh, you don't even put out. So I don't really know what to do. And then in confessional, she says, I told him not to be old grandpa, but when I said that, it wasn't derogatory. Okay. Patty, you, I, yeah. <laughs> how do you say something incredibly emasculating? Yes. Just a saying, straight up insult. Straight up. Yes. Saying like, hey, um, I want you to be more sexually, uh, be more sexually aggressive with me because the way you try to be sexual with me is like an old grandpa. Uh, but I wasn't being derogatory. Yeah. Peasant. Yeah. When I when I look at you, little peasant, all I see is an old man with a walker, uh, yeah. and I I take pity on you, and I think you're pathetic. But I don't mean that to be like in a derogatory way at all. Your penis looks like an old man's veiny penis, <laughs> shriveled up. But it's not a derogatory way. This is this was pretty peasant. harsh. This was pretty harsh from her. I gotta say. Yeah, I, I feel. Like I feel I, uh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. So I, I feel like Jacqueline doesn't like. I feel like I. So I feel like Irina is the meanest, and then people are like, "But Micah is so mean, right?" But I feel Micah's like getting ja better. She's getting better. But I feel she's also really mean, though, right? But so people yeah, recognize them as like the meanest. But I feel like Jacqueline is also mean, but she doesn't get recognized as mean because those two are so mean. So she's like third tier, but she's also pretty mean. Yeah, she's mean. It's a mean girl season, a little bit. Like old man. Yeah, you know, he's yeah. really nice. I know he's being very nice to her <laughs> throughout. All home. he does is be nice to her, and and she was like, she was coming down on him for leaving the conversation. But I felt like the way he explained it, at least, it was a good thing to remove himself from the conversation because he didn't want to blow up at her or anything. So he stepped out. You know. Yeah. Which I think is a, like a mentally sound thing to do. <laughs> like, I need some time. I need some space. I'm going to step out of this for a little bit. <laughs> because he didn't want to retort and start calling her an old grandma, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because he knows what it feels like, you know? Great, great grandma. How about yeah. that? Oh, oh, no, he didn't. Oh, <laughs> he got her. <laughs> You're wow. an ancestor of mine. Oh, from generations back. Five generations. How about that? Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> gotcha. did, you see this, did you see this comment in the chat? Sarah says, we need to incorporate peasant oh, back into our society. Sarah, more. I've got bad news for you. <laughs> Wait, Sarah, you want more peasants in our society? You want to revert back to a surf system? Sarah, oh. what? Sarah, I've got bad news for you. The uh, the income inequality in this country is we basically is a, have it's pretty peasantry it's pretty wide. Basically it's, it's, exists, it's, it's, but the fact that you want peasantry is deeply concerning to me. <laughs> okay, Sarah in the chat is canceled. <laughs> uh, blocking Sarah now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes 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 sarah clarifies yes. she just wants the word more i agree it's 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 it does slap it pops is what yes. it does <laughs> uh, yes in in the conversation uh or the argument marshall says it's like you never do anything for me and i'm always doing things for you well uh thanks uh grandpa obvious <laughs> uh <laughs> And Jackie's like, then why are you still with me? And he says, I saw you as a project. That, oh my God. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I was like, Marshall is saying all the right things. This He's, is what it, every it's, girl it's wants very to hear. clearly cut, like Marshall is in the right here. And then he goes and he says fucking project. Well, I don't know. When he said that, I got wet, dude. I was <laughs> like, finally, he's saying the aggressive things that, that makes me want to hear. I was like, Marshall, slide up right inside me, dude. <laughs> disturbing <laughs> i was like marshall lay it in me dude <laughs> he's like oh you're not a project but uh you're somebody that i want to fix oh uh, yeah you're you're a project project runway because you you dress nice oh yeah he's like, you're not a project but you're like a fixer upper you know <laughs> like the show <laughs> Look, I mean, she did compare his dick to a car, you know, that she wanted to test drive. 
before they went yes. in for it. So, you know, they're they're all viewing each other as projects a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they do end up hugging. So it just it really does seem like these problems that they're having could be very easily discussed. You know, you just sit down with a with a drink and you just talk it out. But uh I don't know. Am I crazy? I must At be the crazy. same time, it does seem that these problems could really be fixed with a marriage, you know, like a big wedding. Oh, definitely. As soon yeah. as possible, actually. Yeah. I think they should they should just go to Vegas and get married tomorrow. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. At yeah. the uh at the Excalibur. Be really cool. Oh, that would be sick. They can do the tournament of kings the next day. That would be sick. Yeah. Uh, Tiffany and Brett, everything is perfect. Her grandparents got married after six weeks. There's a close up on Brett's Nike shoes. Place I love them comparing themselves to uh, the generation that like thought that smoking was fine, that <laughs> you don't get cancer from smoking, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> the stuff they were feeding their kids back then. They're like, no, they got married in six weeks. It's okay. Other people do it too. It's like, oh, that was another time. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I didn't really pay attention to this scene. Uh, actually, I did. That's a lie. I did, and it was painful. You were just li- you were just looking for raccoons. You couldn't find any at all. <laughs> I was I was no imagining raccoon. raccoons all the time. I was like, "What a raccoon like, there, came out of there!" In the background, maybe I can if I if I zoom in, uh, I'll take a screen grab. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Raccoon! Yay! Oh, Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh bliss and zach uh there's 11 days to get married and they're moving into their little town home uh apparently he just moved to seattle to start his own law firm well isn't this great advertising don't you want to yeah. hire this I man heard, i heard he's lawyer. calling it gideon goliath and associates yes yeah, very cool Gideon Goliath Ludo. Well, it's... he definitely should not have uh, his name on uh, the the law firm. I think he's gonna be like he's gonna make himself the mascot for uh, for the law firm, and it's gonna be like him holding a katana like this, and he's got like two owls on his shoulders. That would be sick. <laughs> Greg got a crowd. I want to hire him as my lawyer. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. I think he should definitely be behind the scenes if he wants to you know make it work oh yeah yeah (laughs) we might have problems with this relationship max because she has a lot of alarm clocks oh i know how is he gonna get over it what kind of alarms do you think are going off in the morning for her huh Will she get over it so what he proposed to somebody else and proposed to her get over it okay people get married to other people people propose to uh, get over it so he just proposed to someone else broke up with her then you're a sec get over it you know i can't believe you didn't i teed you up for those alarm clock sounds and you didn't even do it oh <laughs> god damn it. it was i was like where's he going with this i don't get it then i was like i guess i have to move on <laughs> then you just moved right on <laughs> Oh, you even sent me a message saying play the alarm song. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. There you go. <laughs> There's another one, too. Chloe. Oh, my God. We even have a new one. Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. Wow. I got to get access to the soundboard. I gotta... This is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> well that's I the still, show folks i still feel satisfied that we played them okay good i feel i feel complete now i really do yes um i just think that uh you know she needs to stop thinking about Irina. really you know not think about where Irina is not think about what he's thinking about Irina, Irina right now because you know ignorance is bliss you know yeah, that was good. That was good. You get it? You get it? Because her name is Ignorance. Or no, wait. 
Oops. Uh, <laughs> it's weird though. She says that the whole situation makes her feel icky, which is a word that Irina uses a lot. Yeah. I noticed. Maybe they're not so different. No. After all. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, it just seems like a very specific person that would want to marry Zach. So it's not too surprising. Yeah. Someone who wants a lot of followers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He really tries to convince her that she's not the second choice, but she definitely was the second choice. She's yeah, the she's the de choice. like she's very clearly yeah, the she's definitively the second choice. He chose I mean, somebody it's... else, and then he came back and he chose you. So you're the second choice. Sorry, yeah, not yeah. sorry. You're the second choice. So I don't know what to tell you. Look, it's it. We know it's embarrassing for you, but the followers they're coming. So it's yeah, okay. you're gonna get the followers from your like, fame. Okay. You're you famous. Get, like like the transaction has been complete. You're good now. Good. I don't know. You, you'll you probably say no at the altar because you're going to be like, I don't want to be the second choice. I'm, I'm going to write a book about being the second choice. I choose me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I choose me again. I'm, I'm starting, a, I'm starting a podcast. It's with me and it's with me and the raccoon from. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a sick podcast, though. Yes. Yes. Let's be honest. <laughs> That'd be sick. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bliss, and this is my co-host. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that guy. I listen to that podcast all the time. Best. <laughs> um, so Chelsea and Kwame, uh, this is interesting because Chelsea mm -hmm. says something, uh, to her. Uh, oh no, did I not? Oh yes. Chelsea says something to her dog that she has never said to Baba. You're going to get a bath? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to get all clean, clean. Yeah, never said well, that to Baba. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Um, yeah, so it was interesting. A dirty dog needed a bath, and I was surprised Kwame didn't get in there. Yeah, why well, Kwame <laughs> needs that bath, yeah. All right, what, wait, who, what did they do? They rented out Kwame and Chelsea. They paid to rent out a, a pet. Is this what I, I don't have a dog? Yeah, so, yeah. whenever you want to bathe Millhouse, Ben, you call the pet store and you say, We need to give Millhouse a bath. Uh, so you pay, you know, like thousands of dollars. And... Some people prefer to use washing stations at places like that or at, I've heard Costco has pet washing stations and if you're a member you 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 could use them for free i've heard these things i just we bathe millhouse in the bathtub we just give him a bath in the bathtub <laughs> no you, you have to rent out the whole store <laughs> wait so wait oh so really they have pet washing stations that you use yeah. at the store yeah i mean they're a little more they're easier to use I will say that like they you've got like the nozzle and everything and they've got everything there and yeah you know they're 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 easy to use but it's like if you're cheap like this guy you just yeah you just watch that dirty dog in the bathtub yeah my my roommate had a dog and we would we would just or he would I don't watch because it was my dog he would just wash it in the bathtub so that's why I was yeah. con confused just to this washing station thing I was like what's happening no it's a thing it's a thing. But you rent out the, the whole store. The, you, you rent out the whole store every time you do it, though, right? Yeah, you rent out the entire store. Yeah, <laughs> and you get to use all the toys that are hanging up. Uh, yeah, you know, for sale, all that. Yeah, no, I think PetSmart and Petco have them too. Like, if you have memberships to these places, you can use them for free. Sometimes people use them if, like, their dog is really dirty on a walk and like they don't want to take them right home you know oh. and so they'll stop at one of these places and do it there instead so that they don't track stuff into the house oh okay so it makes sense sometimes yeah it seems like kwami has inherited like a lot of responsibility for this dog uh yeah very, he's a, the dog very walk. very quickly i'm like that is very quickly to inherit in a relationship. It's like very funny. I'd be like, what? Yeah, what? Well, what, what happened it's very to me? Quick to get married 
uh, this quick into a relationship too. So yeah, I know. I think Nothing that's extreme the norm too. for these for these guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, she wants to have six kids and all these dogs that he's going to take care of. I don't understand why he doesn't see this as a, a Barbie fairy tale. I don't understand. Yes, this seems wonderful. Uh, he's like, yeah, I'm walking the pink Corvette. I'm walking yeah. the dog three times a day. I'd be like, what the fuck is happening? Like, it's a good, kind of a whole change in lifestyle that's like, <laughs> like very kind of quick and yeah. not gradual, you yeah. know? Yeah. And if I were Chelsea, I feel like I would be like, you know, you don't have to walk the dog three times a day. Maybe like, she has. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, doubtful. The way she, the way she talks to him. Yeah, I mean, she, they could very easily hire a wag walker or something like that. Yeah, like, like I she, feel like they can afford it, right? You know, I don't know. Yeah, like if I were her, I'm just saying I would be like. Look, you don't need to be walking the dog three times a day. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, like, let's just have a dog walker so that we can ease you into the situation. Like, this is a yeah. lot for you to be like going into. Like, yeah. why? Like, you don't, it's my dog. Like, this is kind of a lot. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just like a, it's a lot to just like jump into. Like, I don't want you no, to like, resent. Is. I don't want you to like resent me. That would be like my fear, you know. And he already seems to be like. It could be he volunteered bit. too, and then he's regretting it. You know. Yeah, but, that also could be what it's like. I agree, but just when but she I mean, was like, I, you know, I will say, walking Rocky probably isn't that bad. I mean, Rocky seems cool, right? Rocky seems cool. I'm just yeah. saying. Just saying. Yeah. He's a cool dog. You go out, have some pal time, have some bud. bud he time. seems fine. He's not that cute, though. <laughs> he's not. Okay, he's not the cutest dog. I'm sorry. He's really not. He does if not seem like a great dog. Like, I love you. dogs. On having, these shows. Said that, having said that, I don't like have huge biases against dogs that aren't as cute. Like, I I will still love the hell out of a, 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 a an ugly dog. I will. Ben, we talk about every dog that has ever appeared on screen on yes. the show before and they've all been precious angels they've all then been my babies. rocky has appeared on screen before on this show and we didn't talk about him okay that well, is damning there was a lot of other stuff happening in the scene and no, i wanted to talk about no. it but you were moving along really fast mm, mm, well, i wanted to there's a reason i didn't because he's not cute <laughs> and it's not just cute I, but I think he's he, probably got a personality to make up for it. Don't you well, think? he doesn't seem to. He doesn't do anything cute. He's just kind of <laughs> he there. He really sleeps a lot. Yeah. Yeah. He's just kind of. I think he's, like, he's old. But he's old. Do dogs can be cute when they sleep a lot. He doesn't even look like he sleeps cute. <laughs> I don't even want to give him wine or like, or like, you know, I don't even want to microdose him. He doesn't look. Doesn't like, even seem like he'd be fun to party with. He doesn't seem like he <laughs> sleeps cute. What a thing to say. I don't even want to party with this dog. I don't even <laughs> want to nap with him, you know? Yeah, I would not share a glass of wine. can't party or nap with you. What's the point of having a dog? I would not share a glass of wine with this dog. No, thank you. Yeah. Probably has terrible tastes. <laughs> dog probably. Palette, thinks, his palate probably is, thinks un, grape, is irremarkable. He probably thinks grape juice is wine. Yeah, it's come on. <laughs> probably likes Merlot. <laughs> oh, God. Bougie bread, is that you? <laughs> 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 uh this whole conversation about having kids in three to four years and like chelsea thinking that they're gonna be mega rich so they could take babies to cabo was uh, so confusing oh my god the whole thing <laughs> it's like yeah when we have babies we can we can put them on our front and travel she thinks and that bring they a nanny. require no work. Like she, yeah, she you just you just take the baby Bjorn and throw him on when we travel. Yeah. You just throw him in your fifteen hundred dollar luggage and you just just uh, chuck him into the overhead bin, and you're good. Yeah, you just take the newborn baby, you just throw it on, and then you're just chilling. It's like it's like you don't. It's like how often are you like on a vacation and you see like a and you see like a one year old? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you go to Cabo and people are like, yeah, yeah I'm on the beach with my baby, my one-year-old's baby. Parasailing baby with my in the sun. Parasailing with my triplets up here with my Bjorns. 
off roading I mean, with my little babies. No, I mean people do take the babies on the beach and stuff, but it's obviously Oh yeah, it's not like you're completely like handicapped, but it's like yeah, like you still have to like do stuff, you know? <laughs> Yeah, this is coming from two parental experts, Max and Ben. Uh, <laughs> yes, we don't have kids. <laughs> yes. No, okay, if, just... okay, fine, fine, fine. If anyone in the chat has kids and they want to chime in, let us know. Do you take your babies to Cabo with you? <laughs> Please. <laughs> it is obviously not what uh, Kwame no, talking about. I think she's about. downplaying it a little bit. But also, like, he's kind of, like, being ridiculous, too, here, where it's like, you want to go to Cabo so bad and you just think that there's like no way that it's ever going to happen. And the second that you get married and the second that you have yes. kids, life is over. It's like, that's not how it works. If you have money, if you're, if you're a little bit wealthy, uh, which they both seem to have money, then you can do lots of things. There's nannies, there's all sorts of stuff to where you can still have a life that you want to have. But listen, she then said, do you want to settle down? And he was like, yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. He said, yeah. So he's down. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's, 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 he's compromising. He's compromising. He's, he's compromising. Yeah. This is definitely Jarrett vibes, by the way. Oh, like, major. Between, between the Xbox and this now. And the not wanting to settle down. Yeah, it's yeah, major Jarrett it's, vibes. It's definitely Jarrett vibes. Yeah, it, especially is, with the Xbox. So that means they'll get married and then divorced. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's get ahead. Uh, so we go to Micah's best friend's birthday, and we know that Micah has great taste in friends. Yeah, <laughs> the best. Yes. <laughs> I love that she hijacked this whole birthday party to make it the the uh, love is blind. Yeah, so she's like, so I'm bringing a camera crew and it's going to be all about me and not about whoever's birthday it is. And that friend was like, oh, all about you, huh? Well, how about I make it all about me? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's my and birthday and I'll hijack the show if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, introduces Shelby as a relationship terminator, but what Shelby doesn't know is that Paul is a literal terminator because he kills people. Yeah. She finally met her match. Yes. Here we go. Yeah. Um, so they immediately start uh, saying they don't like how Paul talks about things in a scientific manner, which I agree with because it's really annoying. This is getting roasted now. Welcome to the roast of Paul. Um, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Paul. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my my note was they don't like his nerd voice. They don't like that he's a nerd. <laughs> the fuck you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> like you're nice to look at, but when you open up your mouth, it really ruins it. I will say though, I like sassy Paul. I like when Sassy's like me yeah, too. I don't. I like when he's like, yeah, I don't give a shit what she <laughs> says. Or well, thing. that's what I would say too. I'd be like, she's yeah. really mean. Yeah, she's like being an asshole to my face, and she just met me. Well, I also didn't understand because after he said that roast thing, this is what she says. <laughs> Either way, I'll have something a little bitchy to say at some point. <laughs> so keep it up. I'm serious about it. So. <laughs> Don't say that kind of stuff to me. I'll get pissed. It's, I mean, it's, first off, I gotta ask: Is she single? Because she would have oh, been a great casting choice for this season. I know she would have been great. She, I mean, I couldn't imagine anyone dating her, so I'm gonna assume that she is single. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, because she's not very nice. She's a very mean person. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she's also very drunk. So I think that's why what she said didn't make. Oh yeah, sense. she's trashed in this. For sure. Trashed. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Mike is very upset that he doesn't care what Shelby thinks. Shelby's opinion is very important to Micah. Yeah, it's really shaped her and who she is as a as a person. Her yes, with with uh, Shelby, she's very similar to Irina. It's weird. It's crazy. She's got a type for friends. I know she does. I like that she's having this discussion uh, with Shelby and Shelby's like, I don't approve of Mike. Cause like what? And then uh, fucking uh, Paul is just watching from the balcony. Like Joe from you being like, what is happening? Looking like he needs to like eliminate <laughs> Shelby yeah. from the equation. 
<laughs> Time to go to the basement, Shell. Yeah, I know. He's like, I'm going to lock you in that glass case. <laughs> Yeah. Shelby oh, I hope I hope we down. get more of that friend. Yeah, I hope we get. She's Shelby amazing. Martin. Well, we know she's going to be at the wedding, so that's good. Yes, and uh, I can't wait for when the justice of the peace says if there are any objections. Yes. Yes. Please, I, we need an objection. Like, it's let's lucky four. girl this into happening. I'm lucky girling it. I'm <laughs> lucky girling it all day. <laughs> I like to shake my little caboose to lucky girl things. I think that's yes. where the power lies. People, shake yeah, that's caboose. where the magic is. That's where it it's happens. like Harry Potter's wand. You know, if you don't do anything with it, yes. if you don't shake it around, nothing's gonna happen. It lies in the caboose people um so i just got an email from pottery barn teen like 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 i've never bought anything from pottery barn teen like shut the fuck up pottery barn teen you i'm not at your phone I'm not a teen because it, it i saw it being up and i was like am i a teenager or something it angers me ben wait so Ridiculous. there's pottery barns for teenagers yes do you live under a rock i've never heard of this before well, shows is your this taste. a Jersey thing? Shows your they, taste. Have, they have teenage pottery barns. Shows your, shows your taste, Ben. Shows your <laughs> but I, pottery barns are for people of a certain age, I thought. I thought they were for uh, people. There's also their... pottery barn for like babies, too. What is the pottery barn for teens like? I want to know what that's like. You've been inside um, of one? Uh, I, I haven't been inside of one, but I've, 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 I think I've seen what it looks like. It's just like Pottery Barn, but for, for, for teens. So it's like a, it's like a hot topic, except instead of like, yeah, it's like really radical thing, edgy things. It says things like study and <laughs> do your homework. And wake up on top. <laughs> yeah. This is what I'm confused about. Do they think I have kids? Do they think I am a teen with money? Uh, I don't know what they, what they think is going on, but. I've never, I've never subscribed to this. You know, I think they're very confused. It's okay if you want to admit. Yeah, can you guys hold on? I need to hop on the sale. <laughs> <laughs> also, stop looking at your phone during. The I post. wasn't looking at it. It, it binged brightly. <laughs> I wasn't. All of a sudden, I saw this huge bright light, and I was like, "What the fuck?" It was Pottery Barn Teen. He said, is that you, God? And it responded, no, it's Pottery Barn Team. What? I thought it said pod. I thought it said Patreon. And I was like, ooh, that's exciting. And then it said Pottery Barn Teen. And I was so disappointed. That's too bad. It's too bad that it wasn't a notification for a new subscriber on our Patreon. Patreon that's uh, why. Slash reality alert, folks. We have awesome bonus content every week related to our Love is Blind Season 4 episodes. This week is going to be fun. We're going to be doing our predictions. We're going to be doing over-unders on, on everything. We're going to be checking out the social media from the week. It's going to be a blast. Join us on patreon.com slash reality alert. Recording on Tuesday at 5.15 p.m. Uh, if you were in our second tier membership, the Bigger Rascal membership, you can watch us live via Discord. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting. Yes. Um, so we get to the couple's get-together, and it's Chelsea's birthday, and Josh Demas arrives. Pretty exciting stuff. Like, who saw yeah. that coming? He pre-gamed like, pretty hard. The ultimate plot twist. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he was pre-gaming hard. And oh, drinking yeah. there. He, oh, yeah. He came in nice and nice and trashed. Yes. He should meet Shelby. I think they'd get along. Yeah, why wasn't Shelby there? Why wasn't Irina there? Oh, that was the most annoying thing. It's like, why wouldn't you have her come in this situation? I don't get it. Maybe I they. I, I, I mean, the, but even if she says no to an invitation, she's contractually obliged to go to whatever they tell her to go to. I know. Like she has to go to all these things. It's very upsetting. Mm -hmm. Give us the drama, please. Yes. Uh, Bliss and Zach show up. People are very happy for them. Uh, Marshall shows up without Jackie at first, and he's like, I don't know what's happening, but she's coming up. 
Um, you know, uh, Kwame talks to Tiffany and complains about the whole dog thing and compromising. And Tiffany's like, I, I, I don't think Tiffany is pro him and Chelsea because she's like, you know, maybe it's not going to work out. You know, I think she's sort of reading Kwame's energy here, which is, no, I don't she, like this. She, she hates yeah. Chelsea. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. That's what she, happened. She hates Chelsea. She loathes Chelsea. She fucking hates her. Yeah. She hates it's Pink. Bad. She hates Chelsea. <laughs> I like that we're adding character traits to Tiffany now to make her more uh, less boring. Yeah. <laughs> she has to have a personality somewhere, Ben. She doesn't just sleep and love Brett. <laughs> well, she does, but it's hiding in the bushes right now, waiting to find some trash. <laughs> <laughs> that doing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, I can't believe that's Jackie. That's so confusing. Uh, Micah talks to Bliss about how terrible Irina was about the Paul stuff. You know, terrible, terrible Irina. I mean, being mean, Micah doesn't know anything about that. Yeah, Micah. And Micah's is like, Micah's like, I don't have any friends like that in the real world, so like, I can't believe I fell for that out there. I but know. you know, the pods are just a different place. Yes, and Bliss is like, I'm so sorry you went through that. Like, oh my god, oh my god. And Micah's like, Zach is such a good guy, and I've never said anything mean about him, and I think he's so amazing. I just support you two so much, and I wasn't just talking shit about you guys in confessional. And I believe in you, and I encourage you two to be together because I think you're the perfect couple. And I don't think you're the second choice. Yes. Yes. I just love women supporting women authentically like this. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> and we authentically support Bliss and Zach. Yes. Yeah. Well, she's going to be making Elden Ring cupcakes in no time. It's going to be yes. the best. Can't wait. <laughs> Uh, Marshall tells Brett about the whole Jackie uh, old man aggressive thing and he's like I never thought it'd be that bad and Brett's like if she's not ready she's not ready and we learn that Marshall apparently uh, apparently Jackie has never said I love you she's just said I fuck with you tough wow that's whew, <laughs> makes my heart flutter hearing that yes my knees got weak. I almost fell to the ground. Wow. <laughs> Remember in was it Jerry Maguire? They had that like same line when when uh when it, Tom Cruise is talking with her and then she goes, I fuck with you tough. <laughs> right? That was the big famous yes, that's line. That's the line. That's the line. Wow. Cute. Yeah, and Kubuji and Jr. is like, show me the currency. Show me the currency. <laughs> it's just those lines that just get you. They stay in your head. <laughs> it's good stuff. It really sticks with you. <laughs> but what really stuck with me is when uh, Jackie showed up. In my web, spill your secrets, no Ooh. escape. Try to keep and take a drink. You will see, get down on your knees and tell me you love me. Oh, oh. Whoa. I'm gonna get down on my knees whoa. and say I fuck with you tough, okay? That's what I'm gonna do because I really fuck with you tough. The the uh the next part of that song actually goes into heavy metal. It's crazy. <laughs> get down on your knees and tell me you love me. <laughs> <laughs> It's really intense. <laughs> I like that one. That's a good song. How about this? Uh, this. Uh, uh, he 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 kind of like he Marshall decides to be aggressive for the first time with her, but he's just like, "You got to wear my coat. You have to wear my coat. <laughs> wear my fucking coat. Wear my fucking coat. Yeah, you like that? You like gonna make you wear my coat? Yeah, who's old now? An old person never insists that you have to wear a, a coat or you'll catch a cold. I bet your grandpa never did that. <laughs> this is the only thing my grandpa ever did. <laughs> fucking old, old Drink peasant. some water. Drink some water. Yeah. You've had too much. Time. Drink some water. I'm being aggressive. Yeah, I'm gonna go saran wrap my couches before you sit on them. I bet old person never did that. I bet your grandparents never did that. <laughs> yeah, 
it's almost eight o'clock. You need to get home and get to bed. Yeah, we're, we're gonna... working up early tomorrow for the Perkins morning special. Yeah, and then for dinner, we're going at 5 p.m. to get the early bird special then. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, sexy, it's hot. Yeah, this coat thing. I was like, so dude, doesn't want to wear a fucking coat. Like, damn, what's <laughs> happening here? <laughs> yeah, Josh is uh, wasted. You know, he's like not making I love sense. It. I love it. He's looking uh, for a fight too, and I, I was hoping that we were gonna get one. Yeah, I was hoping the way he's like happen. grabbing on to uh, Marshall. Like where he's like hugging him and stuff. It's like, yeah, it's there's a lot of undertones to that. Really yes, <laughs> he wants to make physical contact. Marshall's Googled him by now, though, and is like, I'm not uh scrapping with you yeah. at this point. Yeah, I've seen your ears, pal. I'm not gonna do this. Uh, Micah and Kwame have another conversation. I wonder if Chelsea uh caught this. Um, Kwame is upset. When people ask him if he's going to say yes for some reason, is that a good sign that uh, people are always, upset? always yes. a good sign? Yeah. Uh, Kwame, he will, at, right? He will. He'll say yeah, that. definitely. Uh, Kwame asks Micah if she made the right choice. And uh, Micah says she's unsure, but hopeful she's going to say yes. Uh, Micah's like, why would you ask me that though? Are you questioning? And he just, yeah, she said that twirling her hair too. It was yes. weird. Uh, <laughs> and he just laughs. <laughs> These two, my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. In confessional, this, they still have not let this go. They have. No. In confessional, he says Micah has a special place in his heart, and she tells him that there's so much electricity and potential with them. She says she still cares about him and worries about him. Wow. Naughty, naughty. I, th I think there's going to be two uh, trips to the dog washing station tonight. That's what I got to say. Ooh, baby. A couple of dirty doggies need a bath. Dog! Dog! Get the fuck over here! Dog! <laughs> Some dirty dogs. This is an inappropriate conversation, and I liked it. <laughs> we got to get these two together more. We really do. She should be uh, Chelsea's maid of honor at the wedding. I think at the end of every night, they should have mandatory like hanging out one on one with everybody from all the other couples. Yeah, yeah, they're still speed dating even after. <laughs> yeah, they should mandatory uh, have to speed date with everybody else. They should make them all live in the same house. Actually, they should yes. instead of renting a bunch of townhomes, they should rent like one really big house. And like have them all live together. Yes, and it should be like Love is Blind and Too About to Handle, where they all sleep in one big room and uh all be I would in beds. love it. I would love it. Yeah. Get a nice big hot tub, you know, make sure the make sure the fridge is fully loaded with alcohol. With oysters and alcohol. Yeah, yeah, oysters, yeah. alcohol, chocolate. Yeah, all that Ice stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> make sure there's a dog washing station in that house. Uh Amber shows up, uh, and Paul is like, I have to avoid this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But nothing happens with Amber. Uh, she's just kind of there. Yeah. They were like, oh, yeah, she's boring. We're not going <laughs> to. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I barely remember her. I really, I really do. Yeah. All I remember is fuck you, Paul. Uh, yeah. Josh goes up to Marshall and says a bunch of um, nonsense. But I guess he basically just says that he's going to go hit on Jackie, but not really. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. He like the, the context of the situation is he goes to Marshall to say, hey, bro, we're just fucking around. Right. But guess what? I'm going to hit on your fiance tonight. I'm going to try and make her my wife. And that's all there is to it. I'm just going to uh, propose tonight. And you're just going to have to deal with it. And Marshall's like, ha don't hit me. Yeah. And Marshall's <laughs> like, what just happened? Okay. <laughs> By the way, what do you think Kwame got Chelsea for her birthday? Xbox games? Yeah. Xbox. <laughs> He's like, yo, I got you. You're going to love this one. You're going to love this one. These have some sick co-op campaigns. <laughs> I got you the Halo Master Chief Edition remake, yo. I got you Game Pass for a whole year. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got you a whole year of dog walking. You could get a special edition uh Master Chief pink suit for the from this one. It's it's really cool. You're gonna I got you it. six years of birth control. <laughs> six years. <laughs> Is that enough? Is that enough? <laughs> I don't know. So he might want to go higher. It's a good start. <laughs> That's what he said. Gives him some time to get down to Cabo. Yes. Uh, so this is where uh, the episode ends. Josh talks to Jackie and he's like, yo, we were so real in the pods. Marshall was crying with everybody, you know? Yeah, he calls he Marshall a cry him. boy. Cry boy. <laughs> Certified cry boy. Hell yeah. Uh, he was just emotion bombing everybody in there, you know? Not Josh. So real. And Jackie's like, this is really weird because you just didn't talk about anything real with me. <laughs> just no emotions in the pods. Yeah. He's like, well, yeah, I was sober. They didn't let us drink in the pods. So. Yeah. You know, I couldn't get open. <laughs> and uh, he basically throws down the gauntlet saying that he wants to be with her. And she's just like, thank you for telling me. Thank you for sharing this pertinent information with me. Yeah. It is clear that everybody there recognizes that he's belligerent and sloppy and embarrassing himself uh like i'm pretty sure everyone at the party it really seemed that way that they were like why who invited him why is he here uh so this cliffhanger i think is is complete bullshit yes it's very false <laughs> yes I, I, mean, I don't think there's been... anything between josh and and jackie i mean although the, see... the producers will have them go on a date of course i mean we like, see it in the preview but i mean we yeah. see bliss say i don't respect him as a person like how dare he <laughs> you know like we see multiple people be like why the fuck is josh here like fuck josh you know even jackie at one point was making a comment i think yeah like they're like this guy's a joke like what the fuck is josh doing here like... if she if she does sincerely like start hanging out with josh more it's to it's to uh get marshall's goat that's what it is well she's i think trying to end things with marshall you know yeah. like ah, she, and she's she she, she she doesn't know a non-toxic way of doing that she's a self-sabotager rather than like just sitting him down and saying hey i don't want to do this anymore she's not being a very good project it's not fair <laughs> why can't you just be a good project <laughs> good question you know He's just trying to paint a house. A house doesn't walk away, you know? Yes. Stay yeah. still. Let him paint you. He needs to do a few coats. So well, and apparently shine. she hasn't been able to test drive uh, his the, the car yet either. So that's a problem, too. That is a problem. He has yeah. that old man energy, you know? Just yeah. feel like he's going to take that Werther's original out of his pocket and give it to me, you know? At like, any ugh. time. At any time. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for next week's episodes, Ben. Me too. It's going to be good. It's I'm even more up. excited for our Patreon on Tuesday. Oh, I am. Love Center. Uh, Maria, my girlfriend's going to be with us. She has some hot takes. She was telling them to me as I was watching this episode. I was like, whoa, I didn't even think of that. So you're going to want to hear it. Got more information. Got the predictions. Social media is going to be hot, too. We already got some stuff queued up, but I'm sure over the next two days, we're hearing from the cast and other people from the Love is Blind universe. So patreon.com slash reality alert. Support the podcast. Po Pony up. Is that what they say? Pony up? <laughs> yeah, sure. We like ponies. We love them. Did you know that? In I love horses. <laughs> One of the things we have in common is that we like horses. Yeehaw. That's right. The, uh, the dubbed Love is Blind Brazil recaps are on our Patreon. The dubs are insane and unhinged, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So go check those out. <laughs> I don't know if it's a dog or a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on Instagram at Reality Alert Podcast. We are on our way to a thousand, baby. Less than 50 to go. Will you be the 1,000th follower? There's only one way to find out. Actually, don't worry about get, about being the thousandth. Just get us there. Just do it. Yes. Um, We're, and... we'll, it, we'll, we'll try and... We're going to lucky girl our way to this 
thousand. We're but, shaking uh, our caboose eye. Maybe we should make false profit. Maybe we should be like Mr. Beast and just be like, well, everybody who follows us is getting a car. Yeah, you're all getting maybe a we car. should just say that. You're, you're right? getting you're getting a, a Honda Scion. <laughs> yeah. A 91 Civic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, uh, YouTube.com slash reality alert. Subscribe. See us on video. Okay. We'll see everybody Bye. so soon. Bye. It's the place you go when you finish your show. We're your two best friends. Our names are Max and Ben. We're self-proclaimed television experts. It's reality alert. It's like the ultimate plot twist.